Hi lovely people, this is Monique here Martin. Thanks for stopping by. If you're here and you're watching this video, thank you so much. I really appreciate your time and your support. And to all my subscribers, thank you for the love and the support. And for all my to all my viewers, thank you so much for the love and support. So today we are going to continue with the series we started last week. Last week we talked about knowing your hair. Um, 101 and last week we talked about the texture is a series that I said I was going to continue today and so I believe if you didn't know your texture last week after the video you know your texture or your hair type now as, we get to, as I'm talking right now so today we are going to continue with first the almighty first you are going to know why I say almighty first as I keep talking about parsity. Parsity is the ability of hair to absorb moisture, liquid, and chemicals. Parsity actually is the main factor to consider when selecting a product. You see why I said it's the almighty parsity? So if you do not know your parsity, you can just choose any product and hope that it works for you. You should know your parsity when choosing or uh, selecting a product for your hair. It's also a factor to consider when applying a product to your hair because we have different techniques to apply product to our head dependent on our parasite. So parasite, once again, you know why it is the almighty parasite. There are some factors that actually affect parasite and that is relaxes, perms, hair color, even sun exposure, heat from curling ions and dryers, all affect our parasite. It's going to actually change your parasite. And so we have to watch out for these things. There are three main types of parasite. We have the high parasite, the medium parasite, and also the low parasite. So today, I would want to talk about the high parasite. The high parasite, which is also known as the extreme Parsity. It is also known as the extreme parsity because with the high parsity, the cuticles are widely open. The cuticles of the hair are widely open. Therefore, product does not stay in. When you apply a product to a high parsity, it goes out so quickly. The same way it absorbs so quickly. It absorbs product so quickly. It absorbs it so quickly and also it leaves so quickly. That is for the high porosity. So somebody may be asking, so what do I do my do to my high porosity? High porosity hair, because it already has a raised cuticles or an open cuticles, you're not supposed to apply too much heat to it. If your hair is high porosity, you're not supposed to apply so much heat oil because it absorbs product so quickly. What is important is how you're going to seal those products or that moisture that the hair has absorbed in. And so, as we are even talking about this high porosity, I believe somebody is wondering, how would I even know I'm a high priority. There is a way to test for your priority. If you want to find out that you're a high priority, so you're wondering, how do I test for my priority? Yes, there is a way to test for your priority. All you need to do is to get a glass of water, and then after you have shampooed your hair and your hair is clean with no product on, get a strand of your hair and put it in the glass of water. And if your hair actually goes straight to the bed of the glass, then it means you're high porosity. So that is the way to test for your porosity. And with that said, what is your porosity? So now we know our porosity. 
hypersity. You might be thinking, how do I take care of the cell? Like I said earlier on, hypersities don't need so much heat. In fact, with hypersity, some people genetically have hypersity. They, they, they had it when even they gave birth to them. And that is like few people. And even with them, um, you may not find it extreme like those that have actually gotten like damage from heat and all the other factors that I mentioned relaxes and perms and all the hair colors yes those are real factors that actually affect our parasites for us to get high parasites so you're thinking how you're going to take care of such hair with high parasites that is where you need your thick bodies that is where you need your shade bags, the castor oil, all the thick bodies you can think of. That is where you need it. The mango bodies, all of them. The cocoa bodies, that is where you need the bodies to seal the moisture in. So when high parasity after hydration, like after making sure that your hair is well hydrated, you need to seal that moisture in with thick bodies. That is, you need it. You need a thick bodies. Because if you don't seal it in, then your hair is always going to be dry. Maybe um, I should put it this way so that people will get it more. Um, are you the type that when you actually moisturizes your hair today, by tomorrow your hair is so dry and so brittle and you're wondering i thought i moisturized this hair yesterday i put in so much but how come my hair is so dry if you're one of such people then you are a high priority person so you need to think about the way you will seal it and that is what i just said sealing it with a thick body with a castor oil, with all the thick oils. After hydration, that is what you have to do. You need to seal it in to be able to have your hair well manageable for you. So with that said, what is your parasite? I believe that this week, you're going to test for your parasite. But don't worry, when you test it and you're not high parasite, do not worry at all because we are about to talk about more. We'll be talking about low parasite and medium parasite. Remember, we have that also to be talking about. So you're going to find out whichever one you are. So, so like I said, we'll be talking about all the other parasites in our later video. It's a series and continue to watch this. And if you are new over here and you haven't subscribed to this channel, please don't forget to subscribe to it and also click the notification button so that you'll be one of the first people to receive any video I post. Like I said, I'm about to spill. I'm about to spill everything, every secret that I know that we we'll all be able to grow ahead with. I'm about to spill it. So if you are new here, do not forget to subscribe to this channel. Have a blessed week and always remember, our God is King. I love you. Bye.